Hello, everybody. Um, and today I am going to show you how to use Phantom Client. Phantom Client is the fully C++ injection client uh, that I've been developing uh, for Minecraft Java Edition, of course, um, on Linux. Uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, it's the only public uh, client that's fully C++ made specifically for Linux. Uh, and today I'm going to show you how to use it. So, we're going to start off by making a new folder, which I'm going to call Phantom Client, um, where we're going to put our libraries. Um, uh, yeah, now we're going to need to download two things. The first is um, an injector to inject phantom into Minecraft, and the second is the actual phantom code binary. Um, so first, I'll uh, go download the injector, which you can find at github.com slash some pineapple slash, uh, sorry, phantom dash injector. Um, I'll have a link to this in the description. Um, so once you get here, you want to go to this releases tab and download the phantom underscore injector binary here. Uh, and then we're going to, I'm going to hit control T to open a new tab in my file browser. That is the shortcut on most file browsers. Not all of them though. And we're going to drag phantom injector from our downloads over to this phantom client folder. Uh, next, we're going to download um, the phantom blob and we're going to go to github.com slash some pineapple slash phantom. And again, go to the releases tab. Um, the latest release should show up on top and download libphantom.so. And you can go back here. Uh, we're just gonna minimize that and drag libphantom.so into this same folder. Now, um, now we've downloaded everything we need. Um, of course, you can also um, build these binaries from source. Um, all the source code and build files are available in the two GitHub pages that I. That I uh, showed you earlier, um, but what you want to do is you want to right-click in here and open in terminal, like I just did. Um, this will get you a terminal in running in this directory. Um, well, we're going to minimize that, and we're going to um, mark. We're going to do change mod uh, plus x, and then phantom injector. Uh, that's just because, for some reason, um, when I tried it before, Phantom Injector wasn't marked as executable by default. Um, so what this command does is it just marks um, this as executable. Another way you could do that is if you go into the Properties, um, Permissions, and then tick this box, um, is executable. Uh, that might be different if you're not using Dolphin, uh, so bear that in mind. Um, now what we want to do is we want to run this um, phantom injector program as a root. Um, so we use sudo um, and then the name of the program to run it as root. Um, and then you want to put in your password and we get this um, phantom injector window that pops up. Um, then first we're going to open Minecraft. I'm just going to launch Minecraft here. I don't know if you can hear my cats, but they're uh, making strange noises <laughs> in the background. Uh, so if you hear weird noises, those are my cats. 
Alright, once you've launched Minecraft, we can go back and take a look at Phantom Injector. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to open a library, bring up this um, pop-up file dialog, and you want to find this um, libphantom.so here. Um, if you have it somewhere else, you can go here and go to your um, this will go to your home folder, but of course um, I had mine in Phantom Client and libphantom.so. And we'll hit OK. And then next step is we find Minecraft. And it will go ahead and grab the process ID of Minecraft. Um, now, this should be a number uh, of, it can really vary in size <laughs> depending on the distro you're running and how long your computer has been up for since the last reboot. Uh, mine is uh, 10,145. I've seen them go into millions and they can also be like 2,000. But anyway, that aside, as long as you see a number here, you're good. Um, and then you hit inject and you should get this pop-up. Um, and once you've injected, you can close that, and you can also close your terminal. Um, now, uh, we've got Phantom here. Um, and then what we do next is, this is important, um, you need to select your... Glor your mouse. I have a glorious model O. Um, if you cannot find your mouse, then, well, that's an issue. Um, the most likely reason that you can't find your mouse um, is because you're, uh, you're in Wayland. Um, and if you're in Wayland, that means you have to log out um, and find some sort of, uh, in if you're using Ubuntu or any, any other distro that uses GNOME, um, you'll have to look for a little gear icon in the bottom right hand of your screen. Um, click that and find... Uh, if you're using GNOME, GNOME on Xorg, or Ubuntu on Xorg, it'll either say Xorg or X11. Um, yeah, just make sure you're running something that's using X11, because otherwise, it won't work. Just straight up won't work. Um, yeah. Now we have this drop down, and we can choose between a whole bunch of different colors. I'm going to leave it here for now, and then we can go in-game. I'll just go in single player for now. Uh, let me... Yeah, actually, seeing as it's snowing, I'm just going to... If I will just join high pixel, why not? Um... Uh, and you see, once we join a game, we get um, our hacks. Um, so, for now, I'll just turn on auto cooker and aimbot. Um, all of them have a little description if you hover over. Um, auto clicker. Um, of course, you can set the CPS to whatever. Um, advanced mode. Uh, it's nice. Usually I find turning that down helps. Probably set that as the random for, or I'll set that, something like that as the default, because it seems to just work better. Like that. Um, and then of course aim assist is configurable. I'll turn it up just so it's really visible in the video here. Um, and it also has a teams check and stuff like that if you're playing a team mode. Um, as you can see, the auto clicker works fine. 
I'm not clicking right now. And here's the aim assist. Um, this is with the speed set to about 70. Um, on max, it looks something like this. Uh, so I'm not moving my mouse here. I'm just holding down the button. Um, yeah. Um, you can also, everything's configurable. Um, we've also got reach, um, which I, I think it works sometimes. Uh, it's not <laughs> the best, to be honest, the reach, but I think it works sometimes. Yeah, but it's not very reliable. Um, we've also got aimbot, which, you know what, aimbot is not something I'll show you. <laughs> on high pixels and I'm not looking to get banned. Um here aimbot is just like we I'll just turn up the range. It just is this. Um so there's a mob there. It'll just, you know, look at it. Um let me just back away. It'll even look right now. It's looking at the dirt block. Uh so it does stuff like that too, <laughs> uh, because why not? Um, so yeah, but you know, kind of works. Um, the auto clicker, I think, is probably the best part, because um, I think I think it's pretty decent. Uh, it's pretty configurable as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it bypasses decently. If it doesn't, I'll be quite sad because I spent way too long just doing extra fucking randomizations and shit. Um, and then aim assist, of course, is great. Um, yeah, you got a lot of settings. Everything works well. Uh, I'm pretty sure... It's basically fucking screen share proof because retards don't know how to screen share for Linux. So, yeah. And then when you're done, or if you get screen shared or something, I don't know, uh, just you can hit destruct, and then it's gone. And then what you want to do um, is you want to go back and shift delete your phantom client folder and you're done it's gone yep so that has been how to use phantom client uh yeah i'll see y'all in the next one peace